So there are many Galaxy Z4 videos out there, but this one is all about the S Pen. And I think this device adds a lot more with the S Pen built into it. Now, the Z Fold has S Pen capabilities within the internal display, not the external display. I repeat, you cannot use it on the external display, only the internal display, which has the Wacom layer and allows the functionality of an S Pen. Now, you can only use two S Pens with the Galaxy Z Fold 3. So there's the Z Fold S Pen, which is great. It's small, it kind of fits this device. And then there's the S Pen Pro, which is a larger S Pen. Uh, and this will work, the S Pen Pro will work with all your Galaxy devices, all the way to the Galaxy Note, the S21 Ultra, as well as also your tab devices, and as, as well as your Galaxy laptops that support S Pen. So that is the ultimate S Pen. Now that S Pen has a switch on it which allows you to switch between S Pen Pro functionality and Z Fold. Why is that? Well, two things. When you switch to the uh, Z Fold functionality, it allows you to use it on the Z Fold because it retracts. So the Z Fold S Pen and the S Pen uh, Pro when using it in Z Fold mode, retracts in if you press too hard on it. So prevents you from jabbing or stabbing hard onto your device which is great. So you don't have those kind of issues when you're writing or using the S Pen on the Z Fold 3, uh, which is awesome. Now, the, also the S Pen Pro, as I mentioned, has Bluetooth functionality, which the Z Fold S Pen does not. So speaking of the S Pen uh, itself for the Z Fold, the Z Fold S Pen is nice, it's small, comparing it to the S Pen Pro uh, or even the, uh, the Galaxy S21 S Pen, it's the smallest of all three and it just is really functional. Now, let's talk about S Pen features. That's something we, we like as Note users. Uh, I myself, I'm a Note user. So seeing it on this device is great because you've got a lot of large real estate. First thing, of course, you can write anywhere on the device as well as also picking out the S Notepad and just writing on there. So that's something that's great. You've got that quick access menu where you can do more things and you can add a few other functionalities to it. So you can go ahead and say, uh, take a screenshot by just using the cutout tool if you want to. You can open up all your notes. You can also add things like the magnify feature if you want to magnify things on screen. There's a translate feature as well. Uh, you know, so there's so many features you can add to it with the S Pen, which is great. But of course, I just love writing and drawing because I'm terrible at drawing, but it's a great feature to have on this device. And I think a lot of people will like it. There's also a, S Pen uh, case for the Z Fold 3, which allows you to slide the S Pen at the back. It's a really nice looking case, and I think that's when I'll go with my Z Fold 3, and I think it fits it right well, so that's something to take note. In terms of pricing, I'm not exactly sure. They really didn't give me pricing, but I would say it's probably around $69 uh, or so. Just don't quote me on it. Now, the other cool feature, of course, with the Galaxy Z Fold 3 is that you've got an under-display camera under your large display, which is great. So which means you've got that full real estate, you can game, you can also watch content, and that doesn't block anything for you. So that is pretty cool. Now, there's so much more to the Galaxy Z Fold 3, and I'll be doing more videos on it. Gaming video is coming next, so if you have any questions about it, let me know, or give me your thoughts on the Z Fold S Pen. Is that something you'd be picking up, or you just don't care about it? And I remind you guys again, one more time, please, you cannot use the S Pen on the front display. You can only use it on the internal display. So, always enjoy your entertainment.